Micah, thank you for joining me. It's good to see you, dude. Good, good, good. Good to see you too. <laughs> You're looking awfully dapper tonight. Did you have a good day today? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Did you? I did. I had a good day today. Uh, and it so happens that this is at the end of my day. So it's a great way to finish my day talking to Micah Fowler. So I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> Sweet. Well, uh, Micah, the, uh, super grateful that you're on here. Uh, so we are here today because it's Mobility Awareness Month, right? So it's a pretty cool yes. and important month uh, for a lot of people that we get to work with every day, including you. And thinking about how we can make an impact this month, we thought, well, how can we raise true awareness, get more people involved, shine the spotlight on people and partners that, that really make a difference in the mobility community. And you're one of the first names that came to mind just because of the impact that you've had uh, with your, your show uh, Speechless, which was awesome. A lot of people love that show. So well done. I just love, the, love all the things that, that you do. So... <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, my, my pleasure. So, and uh, we're also going to be uh, having your sister join us in just a minute, right? Just to, to answer some questions too. But, well, let's let's go ahead. And um, I, so I have a, a few questions for I'd, I'd love to know. So, so tell me, what, so what are a few things that you would love more people to know about mobility? Feel free to introduce yourself to don't be afraid or uncomfortable to, to approach us just because we use a piece of equipment focus on us get to know us as a person see people with Disabilities as people first. Love that. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that, Mike. I mean, it, the only thing that's different is how you get around. That's it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you still, I, I mean, we were just talking about your love for like Marvel. Like, that's like, I oh, love talking yeah. to you about Marvel. Like, we like the same things. Like, if we lived by each other, we could totally be buds. You just, Oh, you use yeah. a wheelchair to get around. That's it. That's the only difference. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're a, you're such a stud. Uh, well, thanks for sharing that. And and yeah, the the idea of of uh, the people first, right? Like, uh, yeah. Person with a disability, right? Like the, the person yeah, first. Yeah. Like that's that's it, right? It's really simple. Mm -hmm. When we are not wheelchair bound, all wheelchairs are an, ex or an extension of our body. They, 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 they are legs. Awesome. You are not wheelchair bound. Like that's a great way to put it. They're an extension of you, yeah. right? And uh, it more people need to know that, right? Just the, the way that you say it, put people first as an extension of you. That that is an important part of mobility awareness because more more people need to to know that. Like right? how do you how do you address that and how important these tools are? And that that's the other part of mobility awareness are is what are the the technologies available and the products that are that are available that that you use uh, to face the mobility challenges that you have, right? So, so that and uh, so I mean, tell tell us, Micah, can you tell us a little bit like what are some of the mobility challenges that you and other wheelchair users face? Oh yes, uh -oh. so. And other people in wheelchairs face mobility challenges in every part of our lives. From cocked, broken up sidewalks to 
Tadak Cats and the Street Corners to the Lack of Handicap Automatic Doors and Entrances. Yeah, it, it's it's a it is a lot of simple things that a lot of people take for granted, right? And and with Mobility Awareness Month, sharing things like that, Micah, that's really helpful because to if you had a favorite restaurant, but then there's no ramp to get into it, right? Guess what? That's not your favorite restaurant anymore, right? <laughs> So nope. those those things make a big difference, and so I appreciate you shedding some light on that. So, what are some of the ways, Micah, that you uh, face your mobility? You know, you address the mobility challenges that you face. Found it difficult to get my self and my wheelchair in and out of. Thank you many times. So now I use a mini bag converted by VMI, which provides reliable automatic deploying round wow. that allows me to roll in and out more easily. Mm. This this provides me with more independence. Oh, uh, thanks, my guy. I love that you share that because that obviously that's what we built, right? Like we're we're with VMI, and that's that's a big part of what we do is that we get to serve so many incredible individuals like yourself that get to use them to just day to day, right? For, to to your point. So thanks for sharing that. Yeah, we, so I would love to hear from Kelsey too. So Kelsey, I think she's she's waiting to chat with us. I'll add her here onto the FaceTime. But uh, I, I think there's some cool cool things that she could share with us too. I'm gonna add her here. Hello. Hey, what's up, Kelsey? Good, 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 good to talk to you, Kelsey. Hi. What's up? So, uh, super grateful that you're here, Kelsey, because we we see you a lot in Micah's content. You guys are obviously best friends, and uh, there are a lot of other cool things that you've just shared uh, in your social media account and other things about mobility and about your relationship with Micah, and it's really cool. So I, I, I figured there'd be some cool things that you could share with us today. Um, you know, one thing I'd love to, to know is, so what, what are some of the ways that you are impacted by having a sibling with, sibling with mobility challenges? Sure, uh, a lot of cool ways. We get the cool parking spots. Disneyland yeah. is easy for a lot of the time. Oh my gosh, yes, take me with you next time you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, amusement parks have always been a lot of fun because the waits are typically a little bit shorter, and I always prefer to go to the parks <laughs> with my brother than by myself. <laughs> That's like a superpower. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but in, in all, like, seriousness, it has, it has definitely caused me, especially living in a city like New York, it has caused me to think totally differently as I travel around the city, and I appreciate deeply... There, there are a few, uh, and to be honest, I can only really think of one right now, but there, I know that there is more than one, but there are some places that do it really well. And I think um, just an instance of one is, would be Sweet Green in New York. Sweet Green always has, um, they have a bell at every location and on their door to like ring if you need help getting inside. They uh, have little plaques that say, you know, like any, any assistance you need ordering or anything else, like we're here to help and make things um, as easy and as smooth as possible. And I think that going that extra mile makes all the difference and having a brother with mobility difficulties uh, makes me hyper aware of when places are doing it right or when places have a lot further that they need to go. So, yeah. So do you, yeah. so you, I'm sure you find yourself going to those places. Like, you know, the places that 
really made the extra effort for accessibility right. and so you right. are like a lifelong customer of them. A hundred percent. And I already loved Sweet Green to begin with. I think I even once wrote a letter or tweeted or something. I tried to reach out to not necessarily their CEO, but like their their accounts and be like, You're doing it right, keep going because not enough people put the effort forth, you know. Yeah. So what what's something that more people can do to change that? That's a great question. I think sharing about it, making others aware. Um, I try to share when I see like an issue or a or something going well um, on my Instagram stories just because people who don't have somebody with a mobility difficulty in their life don't think about it. They don't, don't think twice. And in a city like New York, you see a lot of issues <laughs> where, you know, if, if Micah were with me, I, I'm always thinking like, oh, if Micah were with me, he couldn't get here or he couldn't get inside this place or he couldn't get off at this subway stop or whatever it is. So I think just sharing is helpful. And then reaching out, if, if there's a place that's really doing it really wrong, you know, like, I don't know. And sometimes it's simple things like the door, like someone with a disability could literally not open the door if they were in their chair. You know what I mean? Like, it would yes. be. And that's doing it really wrong. <laughs> that shouldn't be mm, yes. an issue. That must have happened recently, Mike, because you're like, yeah, that's totally <laughs> true. So, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. So, so Kelsey, if, if you were to choose one or two things that, uh, again, we're going to be sharing this out. You guys are, we are. What are a couple things that you would love for, for more people to know, or you'd love to tell, tell people about mobility awareness from your perspective? It's not as hard as it seems. It's mm. worth it hmm. to make the changes. And even if you don't have a mobility issue or don't know someone with a mobility issue, it's really easy to kind of partner with this uh, charge, isn't necessarily the right word, but partner with this like force for simple change. Mm. You know, a lot of these places, yes. and even, even places that aren't big chains or corporations like small family owned businesses a lot of the changes you need not always but a lot of the changes that you need are simple not super expensive fixes you know a simple like a uh, concrete ramp up your up your door that's not too difficult um even you know sweet green did it right you know if you can't have an automatic opening door i get that might be expensive but a little bell like a little bell yeah. like hey i need assistance mm. um it's not ideal but these are small things that they're not they're not too hard to make the change and to go the extra mile to make um, their customers who might have mobility difficulties feel seen and want to be a lifelong customer. I've seen many times because of a you know a door being too small might yes. not be able to get in or kind of scraping his knuckles as he as he rolls yeah. through. And, you, and Micah, you have a, a manual chair. You're, you're quick. You can maneuver. For somebody who has a large power wheelchair, like they're for sure not getting into a lot of those doors right. because they're just mm. they're such there are such big chairs out there for for people who need those. Right. So. Mm. Mm. Well, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Yeah. I love that. Well. It, um, Really appreciated your time today, guys. I think the, you know, the the way that you guys answered the question and just hey, how you know, Mike, you made some great comments about how to be courteous, right? How to address people, right? It's it's yes. it's the person first, right? Don't be afraid to go introduce yes. yourself, right? The way the way uh, somebody with a mobility challenge, they may get around differently or talk differently, but they are still a person first, and you just you go meet them, yeah. go introduce yourself, go make a friend, yeah. and. They're probably yeah. gonna like this, you know, maybe they'll like the same stuff that you do, right? So, right. Um, yeah. and, and then Kelsey, great comments on just, I mean, day to day, right? Just day to day restaurants and places in town and how to how those how important it is for those places to make just that extra effort, even if it's right. a little bit of an effort under the circumstances, right. it makes a huge difference. Yeah, absolutely. Love that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, guys. I, I can't wait for, for people to, to see, uh, to, to hear your answers and to get your insights. And Michael, you're, you're just an awesome guy. Uh, every I, time every time I've met you, you and talking to you today, you're just a, a, joy, a joy to talk with. And so clearly, you know, clearly, uh, 
you are a, um, a great example. Like you are not your disability, right? Like you, you and, and, and uh, I just, I love the way that you have shared those insights today. And a lot of people are gonna enjoy those. So thank you so much. Okay. <laughs> right. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, and Kelsey, thank you for jumping on too. We'll talk to you yeah, guys soon. Yeah, of course. All right. Okay, all right, okay. see you later. Bye. Bye. See you later, see you, Micah. <laughs>